Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Chutney. Today we are reviewing another mouse. This is the Cooler Master MM720. It's a small mouse uh, meant for maybe claw grip. That's what they recommend on the website, but I've been using it in a fingertip grip and I found that comfortable. And you can also use it as a palm grip and you should not have much issues because the shape of the mouse is such and the size is such that it should comfortably fit in any kind of a mouse grip, depending on your hand size, of course. My hand size is quite medium, so I find it okay. It is priced in the same price range as the Razer Viper Mini and the Logitech G102. I think this is the lightest mouse that you can get at this price point. It has a glossy finish, which I didn't really like because it attracts fingerprints and these fingerprints are not going away. I tried cleaning it, but it just would get smudged more and it would just look uglier. So I've stopped cleaning it. So if you keep looking at the mouse, then I would not recommend getting this. But if uh, you just ignore it and your eyes are not on the mouse or the mouse is not on display on your desk, I think it should be fine. Or maybe if uh, it still bothers you, you can go for the matte edition, which is slightly cheaper than this. Now it has a honeycomb design and uh, RGB lighting, of course, inside it. Uh, surprisingly, the uh, scroll wheel also lights up. Uh, when the light is off, it looks dark, but uh, when the RGB is on, it starts to glow and uh, it, it looks quite nice. It has a nice uh, scroll on it. Uh, it's very comfortable, very tactile. The clicks are also pretty decent and uh, these are optical switches and uh, they are similar to Razer Viper Mini in that sense. It has a braided cable which is made out of cloth and this attracts a lot of dirt. I've been using this for over a month and a half and it has become very dusty. Uh, so do keep that in mind, you have to keep cleaning it. It's very light. Uh, it's not as stiff as uh, the cable which comes with the Viper Mini though. So that's that's a plus. Now coming to the shape, you can see it has a little contour over here on the side for your finger to rest and it gives you that comfortable grip. Now, I've been using symmetrical mice for a long time and it took me maybe two weeks to get used to it because the way I would grip the mouse is I would have two of my fingers on the right click and uh, the left finger on the left click. And sometimes I would have my middle finger on the scroll as well. So I would click with this finger. Now the shape of this mouse is such that it, it does not allow you to hold it in that way. And you actually have to rest this finger over here on this side. So the first two weeks, it took me a while to get used to it because I would have this mouse, I would have this finger on the scroll and I would click with this finger and then my right click would not register. So that got a while to, it took me a while to get used to that. There are some contours over here on the side as well, which uh, give you some more grip for the thumb area, as well as resting the top of your thumb on the side mouse buttons. So I think the shape is something I really liked. It just took a while to get used to. Because it is so light, I have actually had to lower down my in-game sensitivity. I used to game at 0.5 in-game, now I'm gaming at 0.2 because you tend to flick this a lot more than a heavier mouse because it's so much lighter and I found myself over aiming and overshooting a lot. So I reduced my in-game DPI and uh, that has helped uh, and that has helped me get the same accuracy that I used to before. Now the skates, even though they are PTFE, they are not uh, that rough. They have a smooth glide to it and it glides a lot more than the Viper Mini. As I said, this mouse is priced in the same price range as the Viper Mini and G102. So I'll just give my thoughts and comparison on both of them. Now in terms of quality, I think the Viper Mini is a lot better than both this mouse as well as the G102. With this mouse, after a lot of usage, I found that the left click, it tends to let me try bringing the mic closer to help record that sound. So you could hear that squeaking noise at the end of the click when you just lift your finger off the left mouse button. And it's been a constant complaint that I've read on a lot of Reddit as well as Amazon reviews. So many people are complaining about that one squeaking noise that's there. And it's not been long, as I said, it's just been a month and a half and it's already started making that sound. So in terms of build quality, I would rate this a lot lower than the Viper Mini, which felt really solid and even the skates were a lot more firm and uh, even the side buttons were very firm and it felt a lot more confident than uh, this. But in, ter 
but when you compare it to the G102, I think this is a lot better than the G102. I don't think you will get the uh, scroll issues because the scroll on this is a much, because the scroll wheel on this is much better than what you get on the G102. Being optical clicks, I don't think you should have issue of double clicks. One thing that they have done in the software is they allow you to actually choose and decide the click latency of the mouse. So you can set it as low as 4 milliseconds and increase it if you want. It also helps you, it also gives you the option to decide the lift off distance as well as the polling rate. So you can, so you can choose the DPI and change the DPI by pressing the DPI button at the back. By default, it has seven uh, preset settings and you can change these uh, DPI settings inside the software and it will cycle through those that you have uh, then chosen. What I have found it comfortable at is uh, 1200 DPI. So between 12 and 1600, it feels smooth. When I had it set at 800, it didn't feel as consistent. At times it would get stuck and uh, it would not feel uh, that consistent as it does on 1200. Uh, at 1200, it also feels a lot more responsive. And this has been the trend for a lot of these new mice that are coming up, where uh, they tend to be uh, more responsive within that 12 to 1600 DPI range. So if I were to rank this with the Razer Viper and the Logitech, I would rank the Viper Mini first, uh, this is the second, and uh, the Logitech as third. But if you want something really light, uh, at 50 grams, I don't think you can do better than this. Uh, this is probably the lightest mouse that you can get at this price point. And it is, in that sense, slightly better than the Viper Mini in terms of its weight. But it depends on your preference. You could find the Viper Mini a lot more suitable to your preference, the way you grip it and the way your hand size is. And even that is a solid pick for a very light mouse. And even though the Viper Mini weighs like nearly 9 to 10 grams more, uh, when you, when you actually hold both of these mice in your hand, they would feel the same because the shape of the Viper Mini, it has a higher hump and the weight distribution is such that in your hand, it feels probably the same as this. This might feel a little bit lighter, but that 10 gram will not be that noticeable. That's about it. Uh, that was for, that was my review of uh, the Kola Master MM720. And if you have any questions about the mouse, do leave them in the comments and I hope you liked the review. If there's anything that you want me to add in the next review for any mouse, do let me know that as well. So I'll try to include that in my next review. So until next time, see you. Bye.